Hello everyone, this is Kartik Selvaraj and in this video 20 of Mule ESP tutorials we will be seeing about any point MQ connectors. So I have already created the flow. So in this flow we will be seeing how to transfer the messages from a queue to an FTP folder location. So to trigger this transfer we are having a FTP location as a trigger point. So the first node is an FTP node which is listening to the folder input. So I have uh, mocked up an FTP server in my local desktop. So you can see that we have an input folder which has no files in it. So this has been linked up with my D drive FTP folder. So this is the one that you see over here as well. Okay. So whenever there is a file placed over here then the messages from this queue will be placed to an FTP folder called any point consume output which we have created over here. So it is not necessarily the messages which are over here is going to be passed over here it is just a trigger message you can have uh, trigger this message from this queue to this FTP location by placing an empty file in this folder called input as well. So next we have a logger just to say that uh, message transmission started. So if you want to know next we have an any point MQ node which has been configured to pull the queue which we have provided over here the destination queue FTP output is a queue name. So in here you can see we have uh, some basic configurations. So I have made a separate video series on any point MQ and I would recommend you to better check that to have a idea about how act any point MQ works. But anyway I will be explaining this to you as well. So in order to see the configuration in any point MQ you need to log into your any point platform. So for that you need to have a account created but I have already a account created for me. Just click the any point MQ tab over here. So any point MQ is nothing but a cloud based messaging system. So we have already created a queue by the name FTP output. So the queue has one message in it. So if you want to browse the messages just click this and go to message browse and change this to two seconds. So if we click this message you can see that we have a payload over here which is a JSON message which gives the food menu uh, about a breakfast menu. So that is a message we have over here. So let me show you the output path in which the message will be placed once we run this flow. So there is no messages over here. So you can see that we have a uh, app ID and app secret. So you need to have a client app created. So I have created a, a client app called freelance tutorials. If you click it, you, you can see that we have an app ID and app secret and that is what I have used over here as well. Next you can see an uh, URL. The URL is nothing but the one which is provided over here. So you need to provide this over here and uh, FTP output is a queue name which has been provided as the destination over here. And the operation that we are going to choose is consume we have operations publish, acknowledge and in acknowledge. So we are going to consume the messages from the queue. So it would be outputted to this particular folder. Now let us run this application. And I, wa I also want to show you that we don't have any messages over the input folder as well. Okay. 
the application is deployed successfully even after the deployment you can't see any messages over here because the transfer will be initiated only when we have a file placed in this FTP location called input so now we will drop some sample files in the input folder so anything because this is not the data that is going to be passed over there so I'll paste a file in this input so if we go to this consume folder you can see now the message has been transmitted from the anypoint mq over here now if I open this you can see that the breakfast menu which was there in the queue has been transferred over here so this is how you use anypoint mq connectors in a mule application and thanks for watching this video we will be seeing about a different component in my next video thank you